Hello there and welcome to Josie K Tarot Aries. If you're new, welcome. If you're back as one of my great many supporters and angels, welcome back to this new idea. All right, give me some feedback. Uh, this is kind of like a love story of the Aries at this time in this particular Aries energies path. All right, of course I can't pull everyone's uh, energies in one video, but it is a general energy read. And thank you for those of you who clarify that this is indeed your reading. If these messages seem to uh, 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 coincide with what's transpiring in your life path at this time, feel free to write me for a personal reading to get more clarity, all right? My email is josiek42 at gmail.com and my prices are listed below. So, this particular Aries energy knows that they need to say what she needs to say, all right? There needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So I'm using the Heal Yourself deck by Ina Segal, which is this one with the gold bar border and the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation needs to be had. Honestly, discuss your feelings, say what you mean, and if for some reason he continues to stare off into the distance while she's pouring out her heart, then she needs to come to the realization that she's been dreaming, right? Dreaming quite a bit, fantasizing quite a bit. You can attract romantic love just by enjoying day to day. So this Aries energy needs to know that she's attractive. The attraction is there and the dream is transpiring as it is. So find contentment, Aries, in that. In the mental aspects position, of the Celtic spread. Pay attention to the signs. Your feelings are real. But what have you learned about yourself through this communication, this dream? Because in the foundation Aries, this Aries was standing in her ego. She was still seeing if she's got it going on, right? And she needs to be proud of the path she's manifesting. Most importantly, she needs to be proud of herself. So she's forgiving. She has the energies to forgive and to learn that as she releases and heals the past, she can now open her heart to the present because she has learned. So this Aries in the past, she felt with the entrapment energies like people could just come and go in her path, like she had no control over who it is that she partnered with in some way. But now she understands that she has control over who she wants to commit herself with. And that was part of a lesson in the past for this Aries. So now in the next couple days from watching the video, this Aries is receiving alchemy understanding the energy she has manifested from the path she has walked, able to put that energy into someone that they know from their past or a past life connection, someone who feels like you have known them in your life before. This particular Aries energy has control over loving herself first. It's her self-respect that makes her attractive. Well, she understands as well that these are just dreams. That there is a temptation here that she created in her mind. But that it is not reality and it's okay. Love yourself for who you are. This week, Aries. Spirit is saying there is a desire for this Aries energy to procrastinate not wanting to take the time to reveal your innermost selves. Or maybe 
you've been fearing the opportunity. You or someone else may be afraid to reveal their innermost selves, but there's a lot of passion here. Pay attention to the signs and love yourself first. In her hopes and fears position, she needs to, as she is separated from someone at this time, focus on her creativity, on what makes her happy day to day as she releases and heals the past, as she forgives maybe even herself for walking in the shadow side of the ego. This particular Aries energy is absolutely beautiful. And she may come to that realization a week from now. Spirit's saying it's okay to be playful, to recapture romance in your life, to allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. It's okay to be playful while you're forgiving and learning how you entrapped yourself in some way in the past. In the three card summary to my left, we've got the first couple few days from watching the video. Spiritual guidance saying, take off your mask. Open your heart. Give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. It's okay to love in a playful way without selling yourself out. However that means to you, Aries. It's a time of healing. And it's time to understand that self-sabotage in your path or in the path of whichever Aries this is. This is tied to old cycles and patterns when it comes to someone's sexuality, I'm assuming yours. It's safe to love. It's safe to be playful. It's safe to even make an effort. But it's not safe to walk in the victim mode, to open yourself to darkness, because the darkness represents rejection. So Spirit's advice is saying it's time for this Aries to give thanks to the soulmates, the connections in their life that they've already been blessed with, and to focus on discovering their life purpose, because it is the process of figuring out what they like to do day to day in their own path that will bring back the energies of pride. So she doesn't need to walk in her shadow side when she loves herself. Love and sexuality will always be available to her energy, but she needs to understand that others may not see things from the same perspective. Spirit is offering this Aries energy courage to recognize the spiritual transformation. The Phoenix within you is rising again, Aries. Reconnect to that inner child. What is it you like to do when you were young? What is it you were passionate about? Put those wild abandoned energies into a creative hobby project, gift talent, or skill so that you can heal from old energies of sadness and again, find happiness in your family, your tribe, and your friends. Remember, Aries, you're beautiful and you can be playful, but you're not trapped in a situation when it comes to a partnership. Love yourself first when temptation comes your way. And in the meantime, as this Aries is separated from the one in their thoughts, hopefully they'll take Spirit's advice and create something that they enjoy that they're very proud of as they forgive, release, and heal whatever needs to be let go of from the past. 
Thank you so much for stopping by, Aries. I hope to hear from you, or I will see you in the very near future. If you'd like me to pull your personal energies, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. My prices are listed below, and I may still offer that summer special for a 15-minute video for $25 if you want to give it a try. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and God bless.